when there seems to be more problems than you can deal with. The right analytical tool can increase your chances of spending your time on those vital few problems that will have the greatest impact on quality, as we see in this segment. The notion that the majority of wealth rests in the hands of a relative few was first brought to light by the studies of Vilfredo Pareto, a 19th century Italian economist. Pareto's unintended, though lasting contribution, was to create a universal template for sorting and prioritizing. Any wide assortment of things is really a mixture, consisting of a few things, each of great importance, plus many other things, each of small importance. Back in the late 1940s, quality pioneer Joseph Duran coined this phenomenon, the Pareto Principle. The concept is universal and can be applied to all kinds of situations. Mortality tables show that just a few diseases account for most early deaths. Sales analysis show that the top 10% of customers are responsible for more than half of a company's sales revenue. A quality improvement team studying late deliveries might find that 85% of the delays were attributable to 6% of its vendors. The benefit of having this information is obvious. Pareto analysis can help prioritize quality efforts, directing attention to those vital few areas where the most significant gains can be made. Alfredo Pareto's research didn't change the distribution of income, but it did allow us to access a wealth of information that can help our organizations grow and prosper. I'm Howland Blackiston of Duran Institute.